crafties welcome to another video my name is infinity and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet the tunisian honeycomb stitch it's a really simple stitch um, if you've done the tunisian pearl stitch you'll have no problem with this tutorial if you haven't seen my tutorial on the tunisian pearl stitch and you don't know how to pearl go ahead check that out i'll probably have it up in either in the card section or at the end of this video so without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the tutorial. Alright, so to start this stitch, you're going to want to start with a slip knot as normal. And what we're going to do is chain. Now we can chain it any multiple we'd like. And in my swatch, I did a multiple of 13. Or I chained 13, rather. This time I think I'm going to do 10. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. After you have your desired number of chains, what you're going to do is insert your hook into that second stitch from your hook and yarn over, pull up a loop. And this is how we cast on in Tunisian crochet. And we're going to continue to do that all the way across till we reach the end of our row. Now you should have the same number of loops on your hook as you did chains, so I should have 10 stitches and it doesn't hurt to count, so 2, 4, 6, 8, there's my 10. Alright, and so what we're going to do is our returning pass. So let's try to zoom in just a little bit and focus. Alright, so what you want to do for your returning pass, always, always, always chain 1 in that first little loop and then you are going to yarn over pull through two 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 yarn over pull through two, over, pull through two. all the way across your project Now that we have that, we can start our row of honeycomb. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to skip this first vertical bar right here. We never ever work into this first vertical bar. We work into the second one right here. And we're just going to do a Tunisian simple stitch. So insert your hook under that vertical bar, yarn over and pull up a loop. Awesome. So now what we're going to do in that next stitch is a Tunisian pearl stitch. And how you do that is you bring your yarn forward as you would um, if you were like knitting. And you're going to insert your hook into that vertical bar. And then you're going to, I like to put my thumb on this just so I don't pull it too tight. Then you're going to yarn over and pull that loop through. And it gives you this horizontal bar across the front of your pattern, much like a knitted purl stitch. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into that next stitch and do the simple stitch. Then we're going to bring our yarn forward and we're going to purl in the next stitch. And you're going to continue to alternate your simple stitches and your purl stitches all the way across the row till you reach the end. And then when you reach the end, it might be a little tricky to see, but you're going to insert your hook into that last vertical bar, and you're going to do your last stitch of your repeat. Now, because I started off with a um, simple stitch in this increment of 10, I end it with a simple stitch, but follow your own pattern. 
Okay, and then we're going to do our returning pass. So yarn over, pull through that first stitch, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two all the way across. All right, so now for our next part of this pattern, we are going to alternate what we did in the first row. So since I started off with the Tunisian Simple Stitch last time, I'm gonna start off with the Tunisian Pearl Stitch this time. And I'm gonna insert my hook, make sure I'm holding that little piece. I'm gonna work my pearl. Okay, and then I'm gonna work my simple stitch and then my pearl stitch simple stitch pearl stitch And I'm going to work the last bar of my row. As a pearl. Alright, and then I'm going to work my returning pass, which is always the same. Now I'm going to do what I did in row one, and I am going to simple stitch, purl stitch all the way across. Alright, I'm going to work my returning pass. So I'm going to keep working those two rows back and forth, and I'll meet you guys back when I have a swatch all right guys so I have a little bit of a swatch here you guys haven't noticed and now I want to show you guys how to bind off the honeycomb stitch so what we're going to do is we're going to follow our original pattern so we're going to insert our hook into that first vertical bar and we're going to do a slip stitch. Then what we're going to do is bring our yarn forward. And we're going to insert our hook into that next vertical bar. And we're going to pretend to purl, as I call it. I'm going to pull through that first loop. And then you're going to pull through that second loop so that you're making a slip stitch as well. And then that next stitch we're going to insert into that vertical bar and we're going to slip stitch as normal and basically what this does it gives you a clean cut off of your pattern and it doesn't look wonky like your average um, slip stitch when you cast off in Tunisian so for this next stitch where'd it go you have to be careful it's easy to skip these pearls from the previous row. But yeah, we're going to, let's see, we did slip stitch, so we're going to purl. Slip, 
And to the next one, we're going to do a regular slip stitch. Zoom in a little bit. And then this next one, we are going to do a pretend pearl slip stitch. Again, this is my own term. And a regular slip stitch. Then another purled slip stitch. And in this last one, we're going to do a regular slip stitch. And you can now chain one and fasten off. And there we have it. That is how you do the honeycomb stitch for Tunisian crochet. I hope today's tutorial was helpful for you all. If so, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. It helps YouTube to recommend recommend my videos more often don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future content like this i upload tunisian crochet every tuesday i affectionately call them tunisian tuesdays at 9 30 a.m cst don't forget to check out um, my other videos as well as well as my social media and my etsy store and my teespring merch shop and until next time guys happy making